Alright, we're finally pushing some dirt. So in this video, I'll run through what I think the good and the bad of using this dazer. It's a pretty good machine, so stay through. Watch till the end. Right now, let's just back up a little bit. Show you the house. Okay, still not a massive amount done, but at least we finally have something on the ground, poking out of the ground. The brick piers are done and part of the floor we're just waiting on a timber supply and then we can start putting the floor up. It should move pretty quick from then. We have been told our flooring material should be here in the next week or so and then from then on it shouldn't be too far off. Getting the frame and trusses up should go up pretty quick. But let's jump into the dozer and start pushing some dirt. One thing that's really noticeable with using this dozer is painfully slow in reverse. So don't plan on going too quick in reverse. It's not too bad pushing out soil, I did have to chip away a bit at this hill, try to break it away, especially once you come across the bigger rocks and stuff hiding in there, but once you get the hang of the machine it does cut through it pretty good. Another thing I've noticed is the blade doesn't push down a lot lower than the track gear itself so it makes it hard to cut down hills and stuff like that you just have to keep attacking it because it doesn't want to dig down below its tracks. These piles have sat here for about a year, so it's built up pretty well as you can see in the video here. But it seemed to cut through it pretty well, it'll grab on every now and then, just have to sort of chip away at the hill, drop it down and push it out. But once we get some more trucks delivered, I think it'll push out tandems tipping off straight away and we'll push it out, no worries.
It is quite a handy little machine, it does move the rock and that. I still might hire a D5 for a day or two just to try and crush some of the big rock. I did leave piles on the side, you'll see later on in the video there's half of it left, that's where I've got a pile of about 70 tonne of rock underneath. So and this just doesn't have the weight to crush them, so might hire a bit heavier dozer it's a couple days and push that rock out and crush it down a bit but pushing out truck and trailers and stuff no worries it goes along all right Like I said earlier, the biggest downside for me is that actually it's so slow reversing and loud, it's quite noisy, especially reversing. Pushing's not too bad. In reverse, it just screams. So you do want to wear some head ear protection. Um, and the blade not pushing down, that's probably the worst thing. It just doesn't want to dig deep. It's a fair bit of effort, but other than that, it's a good little machine and perfect for a small land and acreages and stuff like that. I think it's a great machine to use and it's good fun.
Right now I'm just leaving this side flat by the pad so as I move the tent fence and everything so I'll be able to tip trucks here, get them to come in and tip on this side and push them down the hill because I still need about a thousand tonne. So it's a lot of truck and trailers that will be coming in so just make it a bit of an area for them to come in and tip off and then we'll keep going. But all in all, I think the dozer works pretty good from the few little problems that I said throughout the video. It's still nothing major and it does do a good job. It's cheap to fuel up and use. And yeah, so hopefully be able to finish pushing out, get a lot more trucks coming in and push out a lot more dirt and really get some hours up. I will do a bit more of a review once I do get the hours up on it. But so far so good so thanks for watching stay tuned and see you next time